It is never just about the flower. Foliage as well has its merits. Look at these. This is Aerum Italicum Pictum. And just coming through, they have these lovely marbled leaves. Not everybody's cup of tea, but flower arrangers in particular go a bundle on them. This is just a young cluster. Strangely enough, it self-seeds itself around, and we tend to find them all over the nursery. Another self-seeder, of course, is the hellebore. This is a bit of a woodland garden here, but you can see these beautiful dark shoots coming up through the ground. They have a beauty all of their own. And of course, the flowers aren't fully out yet. These are just self-seeds. Now, hellebore is perhaps one of the most promiscuous plants you can possibly get. It comes up everywhere, so it's really important that if you want a dark variety, you get a clone, not a seedling, because you just don't know where um, where the cross pollination has come from. But they're always worth having, and they last such a long time. Those will be looking good till the end of April. Something that won't look good at the end of April will be the cornus. These are the cornus alba, the coloured stemmed cornus. Here you have Elegantissima with its variegated leaves and orangey red stems. Stellonifera flavoramea, the green stemmed. Siberica with its red stems. And of course there's Kesselrengii with its dark purple or almost black stems. If we just have a, a look at why one of these won't look good at the end of April, it's because the coloured stems are best on one year old wood. So at the end of the spring, we need to cut them back. Here, here, get that out, get that out here, get that out, get that out, get that out, get that out. So there you are. You've now got quarter of the plant for your £12.95. <laughs> People get a bit nervous about this, but if you don't cut them back, these stems will become two-year-old wood and the colour will dissipate, it will become a wishy-washy colour. Throughout the summer, these Cornus alba will put on new growth. When they lose their leaves, they will ripen and that will give you next winter's coloured stems. So, if you've got one in the garden, don't get all nervy or brown trousered about it, just cut the bugger back. They do make a lovely thicket, three of each grown in yeah, about Oh, 18 inches, two foot apart outside, makes a fantastic winter coloured splash right through from November to March. Where's think thin? You're not impressed, are you? <laughs>